That's the sound of an autonomous vessel which is taking an army of robot bugs to start work on a wind farm off the east coast of Scotland and another in northeast England. Yep, the mini autonomous cleaning machines are being transported by the robot built boat built by aerospace giant Thales to carry out cleaning and maintenance work. That's usually a very expensive job, but by getting the blade bugs to do it instead, it could save more than $30 million per wind farm over its lifetime. The project's being led by what's called the Offshore Renewable Energy Catapult, one of a network of innovation centres in the UK. Dr Sarah Bernardini from the University of London Royal Holloway is leading the mission planning. I began by asking her what the bugs look like. This is going to be like a crawling robot that will be able to climb uh, the turbine with little legs and then it will be carrying uh, this uh, manipulator and it will be the manipulator performing uh, the repairs. So what will these robots be doing on the wind farms? Initially, an onshore operator will initiate the missions uh, by communicating the goals of the mission to this uh, mission planning technology. And then uh, the planning system will create uh, a plan for the team of robots in collaboration with the human operator. And then uh, once they agree on a specific plan, uh, they will launch uh, the mission. At this point, an autonomous surface vessel will be approaching a wind turbine and it will be mapping and scanning uh, the turbine blades to understand where the other robots should be deployed. And at this point, the onboard drones uh, will take off from the mothership to conduct visual and hyperspectral imaging inspection of the blades. And they will transport a crawling robot uh, on top of the blade to perform repairs. And the, the arm that will perform these repairs is quite uh, innovative and he will have an electronic skin through which it will be able to feel the surface and collect a lot of data about the surface so we will be able to understand how to repair it. Why do you need robots to do this job? Currently, this uh, inspection and repair missions on wind turbine blades are performed by rope access technicians. So you can imagine that they are working in extreme conditions and during restricted uh, weather windows. Our ambition is really to remove uh, human operators from dangerous environment and send robots uh, instead of technicians and leave the technician uh, on shore. What you're doing here reminds me of what happens really in space when you see these major space projects at NASA, for example, NASA's mission planning. Have you had any involvement in that? Yes, so I started my career as a researcher at NASA Ames Research Center in California. And in fact, all this dangerous environment, extreme environment, they share a lot of similar properties. And one of them is that you cannot really teleoperate the robots. The robots need to be autonomous. In space, for example, this is because there is usually a big communication delay uh, between Earth and uh, the planet that you want to explore. And so you need really fully autonomous robots to achieve the goals of the mission. And so that's why I can apply my technology to many different extreme environments from space uh, to um, wind wind, um, farms in this case. Uh, But the technology is very similar. Some people might say, aren't you concerned about hacking? Because you're remotely operating these robots using software that somebody could get into the system and use them for their own purposes. Yes, of course. We always have these problems when we have um, autonomous robots and robots in general. So what we want to do and we will do uh, is uh, always to consider the security aspect and so to encrypt data and uh, to use uh, uh, information security techniques uh, in order to avoid uh, hacking, as you said. Do you think the future really is bright for autonomous vessels in general? Do you think we'll see many more autonomous boats and ships even on our seas in decades to come? 
Yes, I think so. Uh, clearly, as an expert in autonomous systems, I really believe in the potential of this uh, technology. As I said, in this particular case, uh, we uh, really think that removing human beings from dangerous environments uh, is key. And also this uh, can make missions more uh, efficient and safer and also reduce uh, cost that clearly will have a benefit on many different uh, fields. Well, that was Dr. Sarah Bernardini from the University of London, who's leading the mission planning for that autonomous project involving those robot bugs.